Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are actually going out to feed right now. If you can see the sun is just starting to go down back there. It's beautiful, of course. Um, but we are gonna go out and feed our equines and get ready to settle them in for the night. But I had to give you a fill in a little bit about the pond. Hmm, looks like someone left the water running. Huh? <laughs> it's kind of squishy over here. So, um, we did not get the pond done as much as we would have liked to have, but we did get, oh, I wish y'all could see how beautiful that is back there. The sunset is absolutely gorgeous. But we did not get the pond as clean as we had hoped, but we did get the tree down, so that's a plus. Um, it's been a very long day. We've taken one meal break all day, um, lunch and dinner kind of combined, and then we are going to be heading in. We are feeding. My girls are back there doing chores. One of the greatest things about being on a farm is that you get to experience so much with your kids that things that they normally wouldn't um, do, you know, like in the city. I grew up in the city. You didn't have to feed. <laughs> you fed dogs inside your house. You didn't have to come out to the field and feed. So we are actually going out to feed the horse and the donkey. They are actually coming in from the field again. Y'all got to see them yesterday. Um, <laughs> they're running. It's kind of cool. So our normal feed is... In the morning when we wake up, we come out, give them grain and hay, and then right before we go into bed, which it's about eight-ish, 7.30, I don't even know what time it is, here at uh, Central Time, and um, we feed them right before the sun goes down, and then they're good all night long. If it's raining, we do bring them in, only because it gets really smushy out here, so we try to keep them safe, their feet safe, and... Um, all that stuff. So there we are feeding, trying to get everybody fed. And hi, Bill. <laughs> Bill says hello. Bill says hi. Bill says I want to steal someone else's stuff. And that's Herbie. Say hi, Herbie. Hi, Herbie. Herbie's a sweet boy. Yes, he is. I know. He's all muddy. <laughs> so um, Herbie will be two in June and Bill <laughs> Bill will be 20 in March so thank you guys for joining us today and this week already I look forward Bill and I here's Bill and I we look forward to to uh, coming to you again sometime this week my goal is to do three times a week one day we will do a recipe um, I'm not sure what day. If you have any input, please comment below. Tell me what days are best to do a recipe. And then um, one day I will do a craft, a DIY, uh, decorating, house decor, cleaning tips, those kind of things. And then one day we will do farm stuff like gardening, chickens, horse, squishy mud. This one over here playing in the mud. <laughs> it's okay. They have water? They already need Oh, geez. Mm, already need water. So that is our goal. Please comment below what days you think would be best for that. You know, it would just help me out a little bit so that I know what you're expecting. And I am grateful that you are here. Again, please share my page. Please share the... Um, my blog and my Instagram account, please go in and hit subscribe so that you can get notices every time I record and download something. Um, I'm really hoping to be able to get this started pretty well and keep it going with a lot of people on here so that we can kind of share together things that make living on a homestead like so much more awesome because without your input, I, it looks really sunny here with my phone. It's not. It's actually very dark out here. Um, so I do look forward to talking to you guys, and I'm so grateful that you're part of this with me. You guys have a blessed night, okay? Thanks. See you next time.